friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm doing this partly because this was actually a request from some of my followers, but a lot of you who've been following me for a while know I had to shut my Etsy store down for a couple of different reasons. I was kind of getting feeling led to anyway, and then I and I go into some detail on it. On a video I did about a month ago, at the time I wasn't sure if I was gonna shut this store down and then decided a week after that, I did it. As such, people are gonna be wondering, especially if they see my old videos, how do I get your products? Are you still selling them? Yes, we are. And I want to let you know what we make and sell. This is handmade stuff we make right here using our own skills, both me and Patrick. If you want a more detailed list, then what you need to do is email me at raincountryhomestead at gmail.com to be added to the list of contacts that not only will I send the basic list, but I'll also email you updates as more things come available because it's going to depend on time and things like our herb seeds and vegetable seeds i sell a few vegetable seeds those come available at different times of the year anyway so then i can give you an update on that now i'm not going to read each individual things i just want to give you a rough idea because i'm trying to keep this short but yes we do sell our own organic seeds from our own garden and mostly herb seeds medicinal herb seeds like feverfew calendula even dandelion valerian and much more and as i said they'll they'll be even from the time i'm shooting this they'll be more available real soon i'm just waiting for them to be ready like i have my hand crocheted hair ties like you can see here i will do custom orders you just can pick whatever three or even one color you want because i use three strands of yarn and if you want to custom order a special color combination or i have a list of colors that will be in that email if you'd like to see the ones because some i already have made up and ready to go but uh, again i can make any color combination you want um, i also make the skillet handle covers and the pot handle covers pot or kettle they're two different shapes as you can see in this photo here and um, that's especially for anything like if you're doing stuff on the wood stove or you're using a, a cast iron and the handle gets hot those are really handy i use mine all the time i have quite a few i keep a lot hanging in the uh, right above the fireplace when we're doing a lot of cooking and baking in there um, i got the homemade skin cream it's my own recipe i have four different variations available it's the only skin cream i use on my face and it's been my favorite for years and I use it on my feet, hands, and any other really dry spots. And it's also good for a healing cream as well to heal minor abrasions and sores. And it can, it's also good for drawing out things as well. A couple of the more popular items that Patrick makes and sells would be the colloidal generator. You can use it for silver or or copper i would assume it would work just as well for gold i've just never made colloidal gold and i'm not interested but i do make both colloidal silver and colloidal copper it's the silver that i use the most we don't sell the silver bars but i do have a video on where you can find silver bars and i think even one on like if you're going to buy the rods and what to look for and so i'll link to both of those down below but we do sell the copper rods in both a uh, 3.25 inch three and a quarter inch and a six inch set. And each of those come in a set of two. And then the other really popular item that Patrick makes and sells is the vacuum chambers. It's actually two different sizes. He has the quart size, which actually does fit larger than a quart jar. Cause some of your like off your store brand jars, like the green olive jars and so on, are a little bigger than a quart as long as a, a jar fits down into the chamber you can seal it and then he has the half gallon now keep in mind the half gallon is twice as expensive as the quart because the parts and pieces to make the half gallon are twice as much at least sometimes three times and then the time that goes into each one is considerably more because it is bigger but all the prices will be listed in that email list i'll send you then i also have a couple of crochet patterns that I used to have on the store that if you're if you're already crocheting and like a couple patterns i have one on making the slouchy beret these are my own patterns and then one on making the fingerless gloves but the pattern also includes how to turn those fingerless gloves into mittens so you can do it either way and for both of those i give you a lot of options little different things that you can do to make it look different little extra fancy stitches and stuff 
And then a few other things we hope to start having available soon, depending on Patrick's time, because he's still trying to finish out my kitchen cap, my upper kitchen cabinets. And it's been such a busy year for us. And that it'd be like the wooden sock darners is all the wood stuff that he makes. The sock darners, the vegetable tampers. I love my vegetable tamper. I use it a lot. Even he might even get back into making the crochet hooks. I love the wooden crochet hooks that Patrick has made for me. He started out making them for me and they're the only ones I like to use. And then he makes like these really long, they look like uh, chopsticks. It's basically styled after a chopstick, but made to be very long. It makes a good stirring stick, fermenting stick, where you can get in there and work out the bubbles, or even for canning, you could use it for that as well. Now, I don't know that he'll be getting back into making the mortars and pestles, possibly the pasta drying racks. I know I said that before, but I'm not absolutely sure on that one yet. And then as far as my own crocheted item, other crocheted items that I make, I make hats, scarves, and gloves. I make a couple of different types of hats. I do make the slouchy beret. I do make a sun hat. And those are the two most popular ones that I'm likely to make. And again, I can do custom orders and the colors that you desire. I also do make the fingerless gloves to sell. And I do, I have a couple of different patterns. My favorite one is the shell stitch pattern, as you can see here. And um, I might eventually start making and restocking those, but I'm thinking more about sticking with making those by custom order. So when people want a specific color, just go in that way. So if you're interested in those, you can email me and ask me about the pricing and the colors and you know what I can do for you there, or even a scarf. And I've done full sets for people before, a hat, a scarf, and gloves. And then it is looking more and more like I'm going to be getting back into making the skirts, but I'm going to start with just a little at a time. I cannot guarantee uh, how much I'll be able to get done at a time because, um, because the amount of time that goes into making a skirt and with how busy my schedule is. But now that our store is closed down, that has actually freed up a little bit more time. I've actually got a skirt in the process right now, but it was one that I already had cut out and ready to go over a year ago. And I had I have several. So I'm working on those ones right now. So they're going to be the first ones I put out there. And where I'm going to be advertising those and showing the pictures are so far on Instagram and on, because I am reactivating my Instagram account, and on Facebook. So uh, I have the Rain Country Homestead Facebook page, and I also have the Rain Country Handcrafted Goods. It's going to be the Handcrafted Goods page that I'm going to be posting photos of new items as they come available, and also on Instagram. So I stopped using all these different social medias because people kept trying to message me and ask me questions and comments on all these and I can't keep up on all of them. So I need to reiterate again, if you need to get a hold of me, don't private message me anywhere at all except through my email. That is the best place to contact me because I'm not going to think to go look at all my different social media sites, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, to find people's questions, especially if they're in comments. I'll uh, Chances are most likely I'll miss the questions and comments and I won't think to check my messages. So now let's talk quickly about payment methods. That's the hard part here because I won't be starting up my own web page, at least not at this time. And I'm not going to be setting up any other kind of digital payment method, especially anything that involves using my cell phone. I hate using my cell phone for anything. That's the only reason now I'm going to go back to Instagram is because now I can use my computer to upload and make posts there, which I love. Before you could only do it from your phone. I hate that. <laughs> so uh, now I can use my computer for that. So it makes it a lot more easy for me. I'm also on freesteading.com. I'll probably start advertising there, but I, I don't know yet, but you can find me there. So either under the name Rain Country Homestead or Rain Country, any of these places, you should be able to find me. But anyway, right now, the only payment methods I have are PayPal. And I'm sorry, I know not everybody does PayPal, but I will accept checks or money order. Again, this would be something where you have to contact me and find out who to write it to and where to send it. And you just got to understand it's, when we do that, it's going back to the old fashioned way where it could take several weeks for you to get the check, me to cash it, make sure it clears, which can take a few days. 
and then send out the product. So that's gonna take the longest. Now, the other method I'm, I know I can do, I just gotta figure out which account I'm gonna go through, is since I can get paid to PayPal, and the reason I'm still with PayPal is I've been with them for 20 years, it's where I get paid all my other passive income, and so that's been working great for me and for other people as well. But if you prefer to use a credit or debit card, at least I know you can do that through Messenger on Facebook and that goes into my PayPal. I don't have to have any other special go-betweens like Plaid or uh, Pop Money or anything like that. So that's why I will accept that. I just, just again, email me and ask me. I have to figure out which which account I'm gonna go through when I do that. And again, I know this this is kind of, makes it a little bit frustrating because not everybody has all these different options. But again, most everybody at least has a checking account. They can write me a check or they can go buy a postal money order. Um, postal money orders are going to be a little bit faster because you don't have to wait for them to clear. So that right there, you know, if you can't use any of the other methods I have, I would say postal money order would be better for you than using a, ch a personal check, but either one will work. But again, I have to reiterate, you must contact me through raincountryhomestead at gmail.com to get the list, to ask the questions. And by the way, when I send out that list, don't reply with your order or questions in to that email. Make a separate email because I, it might get lost because I send those out in batches. And so it might get lost. I might not see it pop up. So you got to make sure you make a separate email and contact me. You got my contact info. You know where to get a hold of me. And if you're on Instagram and Facebook, those are some great places to look at the photos of the different things, just like the skirts. And also I will email you photos if you would like, just ask me to. And I can email you photos of the different colors of hair ties and whatever else that I have. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.